Hi guys, this is going to be a really quick video on some things I keep around my um, crafting area or my scrapbook area that would be non-traditional crafting things, I would say. So, you know, like supplies that you would find in your kitchen or in your garage. So some of them might be um, stuff you already have and some might be something new. So if you pick up something new out of it, great. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I think that most crafters have um, in their craft room um, are the obvious things, which would be paper towels. And yes, I like the paper towels that have the, like the selecta size, um, but we, you know, use that a lot in water coloring and cleaning up, obviously. Another thing um, are wet wipes. Um, to clean your stamps and to clean up your general area. I find I use the wet wipes a lot less now um, that I've switched over to microfiber towels. Um, so you can see, and I, the microfiber towels I like because one, they're inexpensive. You can get a whole bag for just a couple dollars in the auto clean department. Um, but they don't leave any kind of residue or lint. They're just very easy to spray your cleaner on there. Something I've recycled is my daughter's um, spray bottle here, and I've put a little bit of the Hero Arts cleaner in here and some water, and I just use this with a microfiber towel to clean my um, stamps off. This is a nail brush. You guys have seen me show this before. I use this to clean off my stencils when I'm done doing any kind of stenciling paste or anything like that. Um... Hand sanitizer and soap. So I use these for a couple things. The hand sanitizer comes in handy when you are making um, liquid cards. So here's one here. That was the shampoo I used in this one. So you can see there. And I believe I did a video on this. But if you get any stubborn stains on your stamps, that hand sanitizer will take it off. The other thing you can use are these... Um, adhesive remover wipes. They sell alcohol wipes and these are adhesive remover wipes. These help as well. These are in the medical section and they come in these little um, packets here and you pull them out and any kind of sticky residue or something that you have, um, those come in handy with pulling that off. And also the, the little alcohol wipes as well. Um, so some more common things that I think some of you guys have are plastic containers. So these are, you know, your sandwich containers. So I have my most used embossing powder in here. And coffee filters. Coffee filters are great because when you are doing the heat embossing, you can shake that excess back into the container if you're doing anything with glitter. Um, the other day I showed where I was taking out pieces from a die and I did it over a coffee filter and it was just really easy to take those little pieces and then you just wad it up and throw it away. So very simple there. Another thing that you can use are Swiffer, Swiffer cloths. So this is a generic Target brand but these are great with cleaning up any kind of leftover glitter or embossing powders that would be on the table. It just picks it right up. Press and seal. I know this belongs in the kitchen, right? But press and seal is great because again, if you're doing any kind of die cuts, um, inlaid die cuts, a design, you can use this press and seal, which is basically um, saran wrap, but it has a very slight stickiness at the bottom. It's also great, you guys have saw me post my video about the Nouveau lids and the Nouveau um, drying out. So what I recommend is if you have the old paper lids instead of the foam lids and you don't have the protective cover on there, is just to take a piece of this um, press and seal, put that over the top, and then close the lid. And that should keep your Nouveau mousse um, moist so that it doesn't get all dried up and cracked up. Okay, um, how about regular alcohol? Again, for cleaning up, also great if you're doing any kind of projects with alcohol ink. I have some in the bottle here, but I also put a little bit when I'm working with those things in a little mini mister and spritz my project. So pretty neat there, using that. 
All right, in the hardware section, when you're going out with your husband or if you want to raid the garage, these magnetic vent covers I've showed before, um, what I normally do is cut them down and then put them in a sleeve and put my dies in there so that they're with the matching stamp set. If you don't have a way to store your dies, I like to keep my matching dies with my stamp set, so I just put them all on here and then um, store it with my stamps. Another thing from the harbor or from the hardware store, these I got from Harbor Freight. This is a magnetic tray, it has a giant magnet at the bottom. So when I am doing die cutting and I'm using small dies, it's nice to just have that available. And you can see the die is not going to come out. These little picker tools are great if you're doing any kind of weeding. Um, I have a silhouette machine, so occasionally I'm doing weeding, and these are only a couple dollars for the bowl and for the, the tools. Um, how about some snips? So these snips come in handy when you're buying when you have dies and you're cutting your dies apart. These snips can go in there and separate those um, for you much easier than just bending them back and forth. I know everybody is moving to using like the 3M scotch tape or using the um, post-it notes. Post-it tape, I should say. Um, these are great for masking, but also don't forget about regular old masking tape. If you just stick that on your sleeve of your shirt and so that it's not super sticky, you can use this for masking as well. And the uh, last couple of things I have here are... Um, this is just regular old contact paper. Um, I use this when I'm doing, again, with my silhouette and doing any kind of vinyl. You can use this to use as your backing, as your transfer tape. I don't buy the name brand. I find this is much less than inexpensive. You get a lot more in the roll, and it works just as good. How about this, a straightening iron, because I'm doing my hair for you guys. No, so the straightening iron I have for ribbon sometimes when you get ribbon you pull it out like I have my ribbon all stuffed in a bag like this this is actually an old toy bag from my son's younger days I had like a toy truck and some sand toys in it and I kept the bag and so if you get a piece of ribbon and it's just super wrinkled you put it in the in the straightener here and straighten your ribbon I think I had this from like a travel kit and the last thing I want to show you guys, now this one's broken, but this is called a media stick. I have these hanging on the wall of my craft room. And I think you can pick these up online at Target. You put a screw in the top and a screw in the bottom in the wall. And what they're designed to do is they're supposed to hold DVD movies. Um, what I have them on the wall for is holding my ink pads. So... You can see there that once it's on the wall, the ink pads slide right in there. And I put a little label there of what color ink it is. Um, this one is broken. I had put an ink pad in there that didn't fit and that had snapped. I could still use this, but this one wasn't hung on the wall. I just wanted to show you guys. So that's called a media stick. And that's from, I believe, Target Online for that. So there's just some bits and bobs for you guys of household things you might have around the house. Another thing I have, which I can't show you, um, is a spice rack hanging on the wall. Actually, yeah, I can't show you guys. Hopefully you don't go upside down here. Look at my mess. So these are spice racks from Ikea. And you can see there that I have my reinkers and um, fireworks sprays in there. So that's another thing. And I've shown this one before. That is a plastic bag holder from Ikea. What you're supposed to do is mount that to the wall and then stuff into the top plastic bags. And I use it to hold all of my foil and also um, my vinyl wraps as well. So again, just some household items that you might find in the kitchen or in the garage um, or in your bathroom that I keep in my craft room. And I hope that these ideas might help some of you guys. If you have any questions or any other um, pointers, please post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping.